So this is a 16, 20 inch by 16. The two corners are glued and nailed together. Now obviously I gotta fit these corners together. So it's a little bit hair raising doing it, but it allowed, cause I only have two clamps. So I'm gonna pull these out. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Oh, let's see here. I always get confused when I do this. Just kind of makes sense. Okay. Something like that. Okay, something like this. I do like to, just because I like to support the corners. Okay, you're probably getting the idea here. Yep, the recording. And then it's just a matter of squeezing it all together as before. Nothing has really changed. It just, uh, now that um, we're doing these two sides together at the same time, and obviously I need to be careful that I don't exert so much force on these that it blows the frame apart. Uh, and these, these corners are glued, these are glued and these are going to get clamped. And I'm not going to try and film it. I need another cameraman to do that. So I've got them lined up and clamped. It was tricky, definitely tricky. Um, but I make sure that these are flat and these are flat because that's where I may or may not put a gold inlay. I mean a gelt inlay. Um, I see a little bit of bump here, but they're flat here and that's the most important thing. And they look square, or like it looks square. Um, I can sand this bumps, these bumps off. And uh, I can fill that gap there with uh, wood putty. Uh, this stuff here. Uh, Elmer's Pro Bond Wood Filler. But that'll also be used on the nail holes. So the tricky part here is now that I got them all tight, I want to take one side out, it doesn't really matter which side, and put glue on it and then get them back in there without anything going bad on me. So I undo one side only. Alright, there we go. Leave one side in. This whole side is still clamped. Put glue everywhere. More fine motor control. Should get one of those. Hopefully, this stuff isn't toxic. Oh, I'm so old now. I made it this far. A few poisons. Won't be a deal breaker. Okay, everything's got glue on it. Now, here we go. The moment of truth. Two corners at once. Bye bye. Okay, and the same as before, it's just now you've got double the trouble. So I um, keep it flat, doot, doot, flat. I shove it this way, and I just drive it up into the other side, making sure that it stays flat, and uh, just drive it up. And you kind of have to have a little faith here. You know it's flat, and it used to fit, and you're pushed 
that way as far as we go. And just screw that down and then you look at it. Have to wipe the glue out and you'll see it's still perfect. Is that smooth? It's a little bit off. I don't know, I could maybe lift that up just a smoosh. Not sure I even need to, but I could, I'll sand that down. It's just off. Actually, it looks like it's off quite a bit. Okay. I lift it up a bit. Okay, that's good. Then I got the whole other side to worry about. All right, same story over here. I just press it down. Make sure that it's flat, that, that, flat. And just drive it into the corner. And uh, the extra glue, I, I need to use less glue. I'm so sloppy with glue. Uh, I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Pretty good. Yep. And then I let the clamp do its work. Oh, that fit even better when it clamped. Okay. Wipe off the excess with my little sharp screwdriver. Otherwise, I'd have to sand it out. But now it's ready for nailing. And nailing is the same um, as it was before. So no point in filming that. 